All right, 380 versus 38 special pocket carry. For this discussion, I want to talk about why. Why would anybody pocket carry? What's the point of it? There's a lot of debate going back and forth whether pocket carry is a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm going to share my perspective on pocket carry and why I think it's a really good thing. I'm carrying two pocket guns right now. You'll probably see the one right here. If you look hard enough, the other one, not really. Now I wrote down some notes here. Pocket carry. Why pocket carry? What's the advantages? What's the disadvantages of it? Now one advantage would be you don't really have to be a gun person per se to carry a pocket gun. Because being a gun person, you know, you take it very seriously. And I'm not saying that you should take self-defense any less seriously. But a lot of people don't want to go to the level where they're going to pick out certain holsters, carry inside the waistband, try to get different particular clothing, specialized purses and stuff like that for pocket carry. They just, or for concealed carry, they just want to have something that's simple. They want to just be able to conceal carry a firearm and not worry about it. Usually these are very practical people. And I can totally understand that. You know, I'm a practical person like that as well. You know, I'm just going to show you how, what kind of person I am. I, I have a knife I carry every day, but I carry it on my keys and I carry this little leather man thing here. It's got the scissors, it's got uh, a few little blades like this on it. That's the kind of person I am. And even though when I think about carrying a knife every day for a utilitarian purpose, I think oh, all these great big knives you can carry, but really when it comes down to it, is when you carry big stuff, it gets in the way. It doesn't really blend in with a normal day for the average person. So pocket carry makes a lot of sense. Now here's a, some advantages for pocket carry. It's, it's free and it's simple concealment. You don't have to purchase anything out of the ordinary to conceal. If you have a good solidly built denim pair of jeans or pants, you have free concealment compartments right in your pockets and these are areas that ever going way back to childhood you realize that's the natural place to grab when you have something is at your pockets so that makes a lot of sense here now both these guns are unloaded and I'm gonna I can show you but you know I did unload them just to be safe as I mess around today with these no need to have extra uh, danger for no reason when I'm going to be grabbing these things out of my pocket and whatnot. So you have simple concealment, very simple, cost effective, it's right there, it's right in your muscle memory. Um, another thing is it conceals really, really well. There's a lot of different concealment systems, but when you have a small 380 or 38 and you put it in your pocket, you really can't beat that concealment because people when they oftentimes think about guns they think about here they think about looking right here where's that gun this and that they don't necessarily think pocket because the general public's mind is you know they think of a gun they don't think of something that can just blend into your pocket the way these pocket guns can so it's very very uh, concealed very easy to conceal um, very utilitarian now one thing that uh, that I think is a is a huge advantage is that you don't spend a lot of time and stress worrying about how you're going to conceal your gun for that day. You, you know, you have to think about what clothing to wear, uh, what overgarment's going to cover your gun. Is it going to be uncomfortable if you do inside the waistband? There's there's a whole bunch of things that you have to think about and worry about. As we're pocket carry a gun, here I am. I get up in the morning. I'm about to go out the door. Oh, I've got my gun. Let's go. I'm done. You know, I'm done. Simple as that. I'm done. I'm out the door. I'm I'm armed. And I think that I think guns like this are usable. They're very usable. They are not super micro tiny guns. They are fairly easy to shoot guns within reason if you practice with them. I know some people say well they're hard to shoot accurately. Really, they're big enough though that you can get better with them. They're big enough that you can get practical accuracy with. Now if you go down to those little itty bitty things, like an NAA Mini, you know, that's not really practical for being able to hit a target effectively and accurately. But something like this or something like this, yes, this is big enough for the average person to get a good grip on it and to be able to shoot it accurately. 
to, to use fundamentals on it. Something like an NAA Mini, you really, it's hard to put handgun fundamentals, fundamentals into something like that. Um, let's see here. Another advantage would be what I call drawing as an innocent person. But what I mean by that is you can kind of blend in if you ever were into danger and you think something's about to happen and you don't want to pull out your gun too soon because you don't want to become a target. Plus you don't 100% know that something's going down, but you do want to be prepared. If you have a gun somewhere else, like at 4 o'clock position, this is going to be your innocent person ready position. That looks pretty obvious. As where I consider this to be my innocent person ready position right here. Just like, you know, standing there, I'm not really acting like anything weird's going on, and all of a sudden, there, I have it. You know, you can be more prepared with your hand on your gun in the pocket, because in the pocket isn't, isn't a natural thought process that people are going to think, oh, you got your hand on the gun. But something like this is. See, you go from this, this natural, innocent guy. I'm not saying that you'd be a criminal if you had to defend yourself. I mean, like, you know, they don't think that you're ready to defend yourself, but you're more than ready because your hand is already on your gun there. All right. Now, here's some disadvantages. Typically, guns like this are going to be less powerful than your duty-sized weapons or even your subcompacts. Most of those are 9mm, 40 caliber, even 45, 357 SIG. Very, very much more powerful than guns like this. However, some aren't that bad. Something like this, you know, a plus P38 special, isn't anything to sneeze at. It's a fairly powerful cartridge if loaded properly. But in general, most of these guns have a little bit less power. But if you do your part and you place your shots accurately, you know, that's probably more important than somebody that doesn't train and has a more powerful cartridge. I'm not saying that somebody that has a more powerful cartridge or have more, has more rounds won't train. I'm just trying to make a simple point by saying that. Another thing, they are almost impossible to draw while sitting. So because of that, you have to be a little bit more conscientious of your surroundings. Now, if you have a much larger gun, yes, it's going to be more difficult to conceal in, you know, just drive with in general. But it's always going to be at a place where you can pull it out pretty effectively if you had to use it on a moment's notice in your car. As for something like this, you're not going to get it out of your pocket. So you have to use a little bit of intuition or, or kind of change your routine a little bit. This is what I do anyways. If I'm going into a drive-up ATM at night and I think something isn't right, I have a, some sort of you know, sixth sense that something isn't right, I'll, before I get up there, I'll kind of lean back in the car and just pull this out and I can set this you know, right on the seat next to me or within grabbing range so that at any time if something happened, I'm able to pick it up from where it is and, and use it effectively. So you have to think about stuff like that. So, I mean, that right there sums up a lot of, you know, why pocket carry. I think the biggest reason overall is, is, is to be practical. Now, I know there's people out there, I, I've watched some of Clint Smith's videos as well, Thunder Ranch, and I mean, he's really, I've watched his videos, and, and to sum up someone like his uh, assessment of this would be, well, you shouldn't be a wimp and not, not, not carry. Who cares about comfort? But, you know, we're not, we're not all tac tactically trained. We're not all, you know, tactical people. We're average, everyday concealed carriers. And we have families, we have kids, we have all these things we got to do. And to come up with something that's going to work practically every day, I think is more important than, than, you know, trying to be a SWAT team guy and then try to conceal around it. You know, and, and I've heard people of the same just mental ideas that if you're going to carry like that, you might as well not carry at all. I mean, that's like saying if uh, I drive my compact car, because it's not a bigger, safer car, I might as well not wear my seatbelt at all. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. I think you are far better off with something like a pocket pistol that you can use effect effectively versus nothing. So, yeah, 
I think having something that's practical every day, and, and you know the cost, the cost of something like this, this whole setup is very inexpensive because you get a gun like this that comes with this holster. If you got a good pair of denim jeans, there you go. You know, and the thing is, you do have to sometimes change the way you draw, and there's other kinds of guns that you got to be a little bit careful about as well. Just like you know, you got a these these double action only with no hammer spur exposed. These are great for, for drawing from the pocket. And the reason why they're so great is because there's not a, ha a hammer spur to, to snag. And that becomes especially important when you have kind of tighter jeans like this because for me to get my whole hand in the grip and draw it out, I can do it, but it's, it's a little bit easier a lot of times to do like a two finger grab and then to readjust it in my hand as it comes out. Like I can do this two finger grab, pull it out and then readjust it as it comes up. And that would be very hard to do if you had a hammer spur. Now if you had a larger pocket and you had a hammer spur, there would be no reason why you couldn't grab into the pocket and put your thumb over top of the hammer spur and draw it that way smoothly without it snagging. There's no reason why you couldn't do that. But when you have tighter pockets like what I'm wearing now, that would be a problem if you can't get your whole hand or your thumb in there. See, I can't do it like that. It'd be a very difficult thing to do to get it in there. You could do it, but to, to readjust your hand over with your thumb over top of that hammer spur is hard. So, and tighter jeans, definitely the, the double action only without the hammer spur to get a two finger grab is a lot better to grab it like that. So that's something to be aware of. And I do a, I can do a two finger grab on this as well pretty effectively. And it'll come right out of the pocket in a, in a tighter pocket to a finger grab, pull it up. You know, it's kind of like you get that part up and then once this part of the trigger guard comes, clears the pocket, then you put your hand back down and grab it and pull it. So if you have a bigger pocket, you can just fish your whole hand in there and rip it out. But these are some things, these are some pros and cons to, to think about about something like this. And this is the reason why people pocket carry. It's very practical, it's very easy. You don't have to stress about it. And we got enough stuff to stress about in the world as it is already. Why you got to stress about how I'm gonna how I'm gonna dress, how I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna do that? To me, it, it, it's very practical to pocket carry. It makes a lot of sense. It really does. So that's my take on it. That's you know why pocket carry? Why? Because it's simple. It's effective. It's easy to do. You don't have to put much thought into it. Same thing as with the keys that have a knife like this. Very effective. Very quick. You know you don't have to dress around it. You got everything you need on you. And to make up for that, you just have to train a little bit harder. Because certainly, grabbing a gun from the back, pulling it up and hitting a target effectively is going to be easier with something larger. But, you know, you're dealing with that discomfort of concealing every day. And I always say it like this. What's the chance you're ever going to get in a gunfight? Probably one in one million. What's the chance that you're going to conceal carry every day if you conceal carry? 100%. So you have a 100% chance of feeling uncomfortable all day long, every day. And for someone like me that has like a rheumatic pain disease, it's not something I want to deal with. It, it gets to the level where I would rather stay home than have to, to have something in me on my hip killing me. As for something like this, for someone like me or for any other practical person, this is very practical and effective. You just got to train a little bit harder with it. But once you overcome that training and you can be as effective with something this small, hey, hats off to you. It's a good choice. So why pocket carry? That's why I pocket carry. So that's some pretty legitimate reasons. And as always, thanks for watching.